one of the benefits of, ha of going over the horses on a regular basis is that if uh, things start to show up in the body, you can, of course, catch them early and clear them up. But uh, also just as important is uh, s issues in the body usually are secondary to other issues uh, such as in the feet and legs or in the saddle. Um, maybe a poor saddle fit, but mo most commonly feet and legs, horse, no feet, no horse. And um, if things start to show up in the feet and legs issues, they'll start to compensate in the body and the pain will go into the body and then uh, you have compounded the problem. So when you go over the, do the body work on the horse, the signs in the body will tell you often what's going on in the feet and legs. So uh, that's one of the benefits. If you can something shows up in the body that indicates maybe there's a problem in a foot, you can have the vet look at the foot or the farrier look at the foot, take care of the problem before it develops into a more serious problem. Um, and conversely, once you take care of the primary issue that's causing the issue in the body, the, uh, for example, a foot or um, a shoeing, uh, change in shoeing or problem with joints or, or navicular or whatever, um, or just wear and tear, you know, horses get sore feet. But you take care of the feet and you get rid of that issue, you still might have the issue in the body. You might have been pulled out of alignment in the lower neck and shoulders or up in the pole area. Um, it might travel eventually to the back if a horse is trying to get off sore feet, then it'll show up in the lower back. You take care of the feet, you, you often need to go up and take care of the problem in the body because it, it still remains often. So um, that's uh, one, of the, one of the benefits of the body work. Uh, other than that it's fun and uh, especially with this method, the, the Masterson method, it's all about interaction with the horse, learning to read the horse's responses to what you're doing and make the correlation between what you're doing and what the horse is doing is telling you. Uh, that interaction is uh, why we have horses, the interaction with our horses. So it's a whole other level of communication with your horse. Um, you learn to read the subtle signs of the horse. They're, they're incredibly sensitive. You know, we we kind of forget that. We start to just kind of tell them what to do and kind of um, push them around or ask them to do stuff in a heavy way when often all it takes is just a, a signal to get the horse to do something. And with the body work, often all it takes is just the lightest, lightest, lightest in, uh, input or stimulus will get you a response from the horse, which will lead to a deeper response. And then you can actually go deeper with the stimulus and with the touch and get even more responses and releases. But the, the key is to learn on the subtle level to communicate with the horse on the level of his nervous system. So that's the key to this.